Hi guys, welcome back to Brawl Over You Made. Today we've got a bit of a different dust on my lens for God's sake. There we go. Hey, today we've got a bit of a different video. We're gonna be testing out some glue myths. And uh I've been woodworking for about a year and a bit, and I've heard here and there you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. One of the biggest glue myths I want to test is dry joints. Uh basically squeezing glue too hard on the clamps. That's gonna be the first myth we're gonna be testing. There's going to be many more throughout the video, so stick around to the end and uh, hope you enjoy the video. So the first myth we're going to be testing is dry joints or clamping pressure, whichever way you want to put it. I've cut uh, some identical pieces out from a bit of plywood to make this test as fair as possible. We've marked a line so we know once we glue these together, they're all getting the same amount of surface area. So hold on. We're going to glue two together with really hard clamping pressure. I'm going to do two together, just pinching them up in a pair of uh, clamps. And the last one, we're going to be just pushing together, maybe even doing a drop of super glue just to keep them together. And at the end, we'll see which one of these fail first, what can take the most force. So let's get into gluing these up. All right, so we've wrenched this one as hard as it can go. Uh, as you can see, we've actually bent the clamp, putting that much pressure on it. Uh, so we'll put that to one side, wait for that to dry. Next one, we'll just pinch it up in the clamps. Right, so we just pinched it up to the point where both sides are touching. We've got a little bit of squeeze out. We'll put that to one side. And this one, we're just going to put together. So we'll leave this in the corner somewhere. Just leave it like that. And uh, we'll come back in about an hour or so once everything's nice and dry. Now for this next myth, I want to actually see if dowels weaken the joint rather than strengthening it. Most people use dowels strictly for alignment, and you hear woodworkers say all the time, this provides no strength, it actually weakens the joint. So, let's test it, because I can't wrap my head around this not strengthening the joint. You know, you're creating another barrier between the two. But first of all, we need to cut this bit of wood. Now, I've got a new technique. If you use a lightning charger from Apple, you wrap it around, and very carefully... Plug this in, it should just split in two. I'd say that's a pretty clean cut. So jokes aside, I cut these into quarters. Uh, this side, I have cut holes for a dowel. And this side is just blank and nothing. And to make sure we get the same clamping pressure, I'm gonna, gonna put them all in the exact same pipe clamp. So let's go ahead, let's glue these up and let's clamp it. And because, because I just realized we'll have no way to see which one is which, I'm going to put D on this side for dowel so we know this, this side is one with the dowel in. Right, so this next myth, which I'm not even sure if we could even call this a myth, it says on the glue bottle to store it between a certain temperature. We're going to test warm glue versus cold glue. Uh, by warm glue, I mean room temperature glue, the glue I keep in the bottle. Uh, so we're going to fill this up here. And we're going to put this in the freezer for half an hour or so until it's nice and cold. Glue up two joints again and uh, we'll see if it temperature really does matter or not. Because in the winter, I usually move my glue into the house and every time I want to use it, 
I have to run to the house, get it, bring it back here and stuff. Because I have noticed in the past, glue gets a bit like gloopy, if that makes any sense, uh, when it's cold. So I don't know if it will affect the strength of the joint, but we've got that's what we're going to be testing now. So gotten the glue and let's go put it in the freezer. So everything's been left for 24 hours. Uh, left this a little bit too long. It is now a solid block. In, <laughs> I left it in the freezer. I was only meant to leave it in there for an hour just to get it cold. But things came up and I had to run around and go do some other things. So uh, yeah, 24 hours later, everything else is dry. This just needs to thaw out and then we're going to uh, do our test with this and the warm glue. So I'm quite interested to see if this still works decently for wood glue or not. But this is worst case scenario, so I'll run around, I'll go do a tip run and stuff, wait for this to thaw out, and uh, we'll come back, we'll do this test, and then we'll start testing everything and seeing what's good, what's not. Right, I'm back. Glue is defrosted. One thing I will say it is very, very gloopy, but uh, we're going to go ahead, we're going to do this test. We've marked all these out so it's the same surface area. We're going to put them in the same comp so they have the same amount of clamping pressure. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Put some of this glue on, put it on the cold, get our normal room temperature glue. Let's go ahead and put these in the clamps. They're all nicely pinched up together now. We'll put this aside, let this dry, and then we'll start testing. Right, so the first thing we're going to test is these. And uh, the way we're going to be testing these is if it breaks on the glue joint, bad joint means the cl that clamping method is shouldn't use it. And uh, yeah, we're just going to put it in the vise. We're just going to give it a pull or we'll hit it with a hammer or something and see if it breaks. The plywood breaks or the glue joint breaks. So this is the pinched one together. We didn't clamp this. We just pushed it together and then left it aside. Let's see if this one breaks on the joint or on the uh, plywood so let's go for it well the plywood broke but that came apart very easily <laughs> i thought plywood was a lot stronger than that uh but yeah that's the push together one you see the glue joint held up there it broke away on the very tip on the actual glue joint so we'll see how the rest of these ones go do this one next this is the one that we just pinched up in the clamps together let's put you in Right, let's give it a little pull. <laughs> that broke a lot harder and uh, a lot more of the plywood came off. I don't know if that means the, the wood glue seeped in even more because we pushed it together. Hmm. Tell me your theories down in the comments below. And this is the one that people will say you shouldn't do where you wrench it really hard down on the clamps. You can see we're actually bent the plywood and this is hardwood plywood as well. And we uh, put some marks in it. We really wrench this one down. So let's see if it's a dry joint or not. Oh yeah, that is a dry joint. That didn't. That took barely any force, and you can see it broke along the glue joint. It took a little bit of plywood with it, but you can see the amount. Like yeah, so if you want nice strong joints, don't wrench it down hard in the clamps. I'd say your best thing to do is just pinch it up and uh, that will give you the strongest glue joint. Interesting stuff. The next thing we're testing is our dowels. Do dowels add strength to a joint or do they weaken the joint? This is the two ones we had dowels in and this is the normal control one. So we'll go ahead, we'll put this one in first. What we are going to do is count the turns of the vise and see how many turns it takes to break this joint or yeah so we'll put this in right we've just pinched it up there so we'll count how many turns right oh that was half a turn and we broke obviously didn't break on the glue joint but we're seeing if dowels help with overall strength of boards going up so you can see oh hang on a minute so you can see it snapped along there, not quite on the glue joint. So it was a good glue joint, 
but it took half a turn and we're not testing the glue joint here we're testing how strong the overall joint is together so we will put the dowel one in now and we'll see if we can get more than half a turn out of this to see if it's any stronger weaker or what it is so we'll just pinch it up there we go we're just touching now let's see how many turns Well, there's half a turn. Right, so we did about three quarters of a turn there. So it took a little bit more, though it took more pressure to break. It looks like it's actually broke on the glue joint here. So there might be some, uh, th there might be something to this about dowels making a glue joint weaker. You can see it broke along the joint as this one snapped along the wood. So this one was stronger, but it broke along the glue joint. Let me see if I can snap this with my hands. Oh. Ugh. The hut's still got plenty of strength to it. Let me just put it back in the vise. See how long it takes for this to actually fully break. All right, pinched up there, so go for another quarter turn. So that's technically a full turn. There we go, a turn and a quarter. And I think the joint is fully gone now. There we go. That was still there standing strong. Well, it didn't, it didn't break on the glue joint. It just broke along, it just, broke along the wood there sorry didn't realize i didn't have my mic on me but it didn't break along the glue joint like i thought it did it just broke very close to the glue joint the dowel is still there holding strong so you make of that as you will i don't really know whether to say a dowel makes a joint stronger or not because as you can see there it took a full turn and a quarter to fully break this joint and it only took half a turn to break this one. This is from the same piece of wood, exact same glue, exact same clamping pressure. The only variable could possibly be the wood grain, but we can't get any closer with the wood grain because it's from the same piece of wood. So that's interesting. I don't know whether to say this one's stronger or not. It took longer to break, but then again, it held on a bit more, didn't it? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if you think the dowel joint is technically stronger or not. A lot of people say it will weaken the joint. And it broke closer to the glue seam. But as you can see there, that's it, it's still pulling on bits of wood. There's not a flat part here where we actually glued the joint. It's just broke very close to the wood. So, I don't know. I'm stumped. Give me your opinion down in the comment below. Tell me what you think. Right, so these are finally dry. As you can see here, it's already been split before. Yesterday, I jumped the gun a little bit and uh, tried to record this a bit too soon before the glue dried. So I had to re-glue this one. I did it on the opposite side, so it was a clean face. But it's been 24 hours now, so these should be fully dry. We're going to start off with the uh, room temperature glue up. Right, let's see what the brake's like. Oh, oh, this might be a bit harder than a brake. I should have uh, maybe not done so much surface area. Put my foot there. <laughs> oh, yeah, Jesus. Right, it break on the glue seam, but it broke very close to it. As you can see, took a little bit out. Hmm. Maybe I should have used a different wood. Maybe this isn't soaking into this as much. Maybe this isn't so much of a valid test. I'm not sure if this wood was soaking properly. Because uh, that, should, that shouldn't have broken the glue seam. Well, it didn't break on the glue seam. It took some wood with it, as you can see. But it broke very, very close to the glue seam. As you can see, all this is all ripped out and stuff. So it was hanging on. And that was very, very hard to break. We'll see what this one's like. Oh, that broke so much more easier. 
yeah, and you can see the majority. <laughs> that is all just glue. That glue seam there. They, they took a little chunk out of the end. As you can see there, it's taken that. And the rest of this is just glue seam. So, yeah. Cold glue, if you're taking it out over freezing temperatures, and it's, what do you call it, you still want to use it, it's, uh, it's really not going to be as strong. I mean, it held a little bit, but, yeah. Not as good as room temperature glue. So, make sure you store your glue at the right temperature. Right, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, it was a little bit of a different video. I know I just wanted to test a few glue myths. Uh, but, yeah. Wanted to see how it go down with you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you like it. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about these different myths and uh, the results we got from them. Because I'm always told dowel joints and joints with uh, dominoes and stuff in them, uh, they're weaker. But as we saw, it took more pressure to crack them. So I don't know if we debunked that or not. It might have just been a one-off thing. Let me know in the comments below your opinions and your experience with using dowels for joints and stuff. But yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. Don't worry, I have some more projects coming soon, some bigger projects. So stick around, subscribe for that one. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.